Hello. Welcome to Productions MJC. Well, hello kids. Next up in our third grade series is the third grade globe stars. So what we're going to do is we're going to explain the globe stars, why they look the way they look, and we're going to do it in a way that an eight or nine year old child could understand it. Here is basically this is a, you know, an oversimplified version of what our orbit around the sun is how the seasons change and the orientation of the north and the south and such. North in this version being up, south of course being down. Now the summer on the right, the winter on the left, back in the back is fall or autumn, and nearest us is spring. Pay close attention to the tilt of the earth. We sometimes forget that we're not spinning like a basketball on your finger with the axis perpendicular to the ground. The axis is tilted. There's no tilt, that's not real. The tilt, that is real. Remember that. That's what gives us our seasons, the different angles towards the sun's rays, changes the intensity of those rays as we are traveling around the sun with that tilted axis. It is not straight up and down, so it is a little confusing, but that's the way it is. Sometimes the northern hemisphere is aimed more directly towards the sun, sometimes the southern, sometimes it's equal, and that's what we call the equinox. They occur in the spring and in the fall or autumn. Okay, let's take a look at that from far away. Let's take a look at what that means. There's winter, there's spring equinox, there is summer solstice, there is autumn equinox, there's winter again. See how that works? As these go around, notice that the poles are always aimed in the same direction. It's tilted, but they're aimed in the same direction. They're looking at the same place. Let's take a different close-up look right now at the way it looks as we travel around the sun. Here goes. Oh, yeah, got to remember that tilt. And what time of the year is this? It's winter in the north and summer in the south. Look at that. And we can't forget six months later, where it's the exact opposite. Let's do that again. Remember, we're not spinning like this. We have to remember what? The tilt. Yes, let's take another look. Why do we have that season? And what is the season? Well, we have winter in the north, summer in the south. Six months later, the exact opposite. Remember, the exact opposite. Okay, now that we understand that, the tilt, the way the planet of ours moves around the sun, what has that got to do with our third grade globe star lesson? What are we doing? It turns out we need that lesson to understand one simple thing. As we move around, the axis points towards the North Star, or crooks in the south. Here's the best I can do. The thing in the middle is the sun. Then we have an empty milk jug is December. The twister is June. Then that clear jug is fall and this hat is spring. And we have our various constellations. The sprinkler, the flower pot, we have a ball over there and a ball here. Now as you look, let's just say that as you're going around, if you're on the earth and the sun's in the middle, you can see the sprinkler, you can see the constellation. And you can kind of almost see the flower pot, but you definitely cannot see because you have to look straight through the sun at the little white ball constellation. And you've just barely got done seeing that constellation. Now, as you move around, you come to a, the summertime position. You now cannot see the other constellation because you'd have to look through the sun, the blue ball. You can still kind of see the yellow sprinkler constellation. You can definitely see the flower pot constellation 
and pretty soon you'll be able to see that fall constellation. So as we go around, we come to this position where we can't see the yellow constellation at all. We have to, we can see the white constellation quite easily. Now as we go around, the sun here, same effect. We can't see the flower pot constellation because it's during the daytime all the time. Can't see it, have to look through the sun. We can see this constellation. So what has that got to do with seeing the North Pole or Crooks for people in the Southern Hemisphere? Well, from all the positions, the hat, the white jug, the clear jug, the twister, what can we see? We can see our constellation. Whatever it is, whatever that constellation is, it's always visible because we're angled up looking at it from every direction. That's where the North Pole Polaris would be. That's where for the South Pole Crooks would be. Of course, it's just approxim approximation, but you can see it. Well, except for the tree, of course. But no, you can see it because it's always in the same position. So you can't see, if you're here, you can't see that constellation. But you can still see that one. That's the way it works on a globe. Because people fail to realize that the polar stars are straight out from the axis of the Earth. So they're always visible no matter where you are on a position around the globe. That's the basic gist of it. You have to remember that the axis is always pointed in the same direction, whether it's north or whether it's south. It's looking at the same thing, so you can see the same thing no matter what side of the sun you're on because it's not hiding behind the sun like the other constellations. It's up and out of the way or it's down and out of the way. It's not behind the sun. Easy peasy, so simple, an eight or nine year old could understand it. It really is that simple, but well, sometimes spatial relationships are hard to understand. That's okay, that's acceptable, it's not that big a deal. The big deal is once you're taught, once you understand, once somebody has shown you to then ignore reality and stop learning, that's horrible. You've always got to keep learning. Once you learn the mechanics and understand what they're doing, it's hard to unlearn them. You know that the North Pole star, Polaris, is up and away to the left, and you know that Crooks is down away to the right. That's the way it is. It just doesn't matter what time of the year your orbit takes you around the sun. Polaris and Crooks are always out of the way. The viewing angle to them is not towards the sun, but away from it at all times. So kids, do not let your heart be troubled at your newfound knowledge of the globe. Just enjoy! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day. This has been Productions MJC.